Hello and welcome back to The Hard Way. My name is Josh and today we're going to do a few things on the bus because it is a beautiful Alaska summer day. And we only have a couple weeks left before we hit the road back to the lower 48. So I need to get a couple little minor things done before we hit the road. So let me show you what I have to do. Okay, so here we are at the back of the bus. Got my tools all set up and ready to go for a really simple repair, but I just needed all the boxes for... It seems like everything was in different boxes this time. So the problem that I'm having is that this line is leaking right at this fitting. This is my water supply that comes off of the uh, fresh water system after the pump. So this can get pressurized if I turn a valve. And basically I can run a garden hose off of this, which I use to run a pressure washer. And that pressure washer I use to clean the bus, clean the Jeep, and clean up if I need to do any repairs on the bus. But I didn't have the right fittings with me when I put this together. I normally keep a couple boxes of fittings and I just didn't have exactly what I needed. So this was temporary and it doesn't quite work right. So it leaks through here because I used a PEX fitting. I'd already loosened this up by the way. And then a hose clamp, which works great in some situations but not on pressurized water. What I got instead is this barbed fitting. So that's the correct barb that goes inside the half inch ID pipe. And I still don't have the perfect solution here. It would have been nice to get a half inch barbed to three quarter inch uh, male fitting, but didn't have that available to me. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put all this together. I need to pull my garden hose end off of this PEX fitting, and then we will clamp it down using a PEX clamp which I need to find the right one. I have some that just fit right on this pipe and make a pretty good connection and provide clamping force all the way around the pipe. Much better than these um, worm gear style clamps because they have a spot where they don't really provide much clamping force. You can see, actually this is a good example, you can see how it's kind of uh, oval shaped and that is because it is clamping on such a small diameter pipe that this, uh, the actual mechanism for the clamping is too big and doesn't get good force. So we'll fix it the right way. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to take off this fitting here. I love these Nipex pliers, but they are a pain to work one-handed, that's for sure. Much easier when you can just throw it right in your vise on your bench. But yeah, we're working on the side of the road just outside of Seward, Alaska right now. One thing to be careful is these threads on any of this brass pipe fitting pipe are going to be razor sharp so you never want to grab onto them to spin the fittings apart. Ask me how I know. Okay, so we have the bad end off, and we have our hose fitting. So this attaches to three quarter inch garden hose. But to get to that all the way down to what I need, I have to use this concoction of fittings. So I have, yeah, I have to put a few connections together before we can install it back on the hose. And I always like to replace any Teflon tape that I use with brush. It never seals as good the second time. Now 
Got an idea what else you're doing. One, first thing. Go down the road. Uh, you have to do what you got. So what you'll notice here is that I have some silver reducers and couplers in here. And these are actually not cast iron. They are stainless steel and they're cheaper than for the brass fittings you can buy. They're not sold everywhere, but on certain situations they work pretty good. And yeah, they're stainless steel so they shouldn't corrode or mess up um, the water supply like a galvanized or just uh, cast iron pipe wood. Okay, so that's the finished assembly. Next, we will get it hooked up into our uh, pipe. So the type of crimp I'm gonna use is just a very basic crimp that you use a pliers that has, it looks like a horse hoof trimmer pliers that you just grab like this and pinch it together. There's a more complex version of the same thing that's used for PEX that um, has more clamping force, but I don't have any that are the right size for this pipe. So that's what we'll use. Make sure you put your ring on first, otherwise you'll have to pull the fitting apart again. Okay, now that we have that on, we are going to give this a crimp. And you can see that it fully crimped because it actually is touching the metal there. And that is a nice, good, tight fit. I can also verify that it's a good crimp because it pulls down past it. You can see that the pipe is shrunk underneath the band and has a nice good grip around the, the fitting itself. So that shouldn't leak anymore. So that's one project done. Let's go on to the next one. So the next project's pretty simple. I just need to grease up this hinge. It's the only one on the bus that I've had issues with because I didn't get it greased soon enough. So. It's the only one that's bothering me right now or giving me grief, so let's get this one greased up. And no, you don't need a really special grease gun, it's just the one I had, so I brought it along with me. So one of the mistakes that I made when I welded these hinges on is I got some of the hinges rotated just the wrong way where uh, most grease gun couplers don't fit on them. So I have this little profile one I can put on if I need to. I'm gonna do the same thing down here because I don't think I got it quite greased up all the way. So I can tell it's that one that's giving me grief. The grease gun is maxed out and that's around 8 or 10,000 psi for pressure. I'm going to rotate it and see if I can get it to pop free.
And that's what 10,000 PSI looks like when it pushes the hinge up like a hydraulic cylinder. Okay. Definitely got grease in that one though. So these greasable hinges are nice because you can service them like this if they're giving you problems, but they're also extremely messy. Okay, no more squeak. All I have left is to clean the junk off of my grease gun and put that away. So that completes my maintenance list for tonight. There's always something to do on the bus while you're on the road. Uh, I have to clean up all these tools and then I'm gonna call it a night. So thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, please hit the like button, maybe subscribe if you like this content, and I'll catch you on the next video. Thank you. Mm -hmm.